Hi folks, welcome back to our channel. Today we're back to Oaxaca, beautiful southern state of Mexico and its beach towns on the Pacific coast. Today we will be talking about Mazunte and San Agustinillo. If you haven't yet, please check out our earlier videos about Zipolite and Puerto Escondido. And let us know in the comments below about your favorite beach towns and surfing locations. Mazunte and San Agustinillo are on the list of small beach towns on the Pacific coast in the state of Oaxaca. They are beautiful, cozy, with good waves, suitable for both surfing and for safe swimming. If you're staying in Zipolita like we did, Mazunte and San Agustinillo are only a short drive away. You can order a taxi, which will be around 100 pesos, or take a colectivo, which will cost you around 20 pesos per person. The towns are fairly close to each other and the drive shouldn't take more than 15 to 20 minutes. Colectivo is quite an experience. Consider this option if you don't have luggage and you're flexible with minor discomfort of firm bench seats at the back of the truck. You can take a colectivo from a bus stop located on Mexico 175 highway next to Postras de Sol. Colectivo buses are basically trucks with covered trunks and they don't have a limit on how many people they can fit in. So there might be several standing or even hanging from the edge of the truck. It's better to have a seat and hold on to something during the drive. The road is winding and there are bumps along the way. bus stops. You can ask to stop the bus wherever you want and the other way around. You can hail the bus at any point when you see one coming. We found that Mazunte was definitely more touristy compared to Zipolite. It has more stores and cafes on the main street and there were more people at the beach. And because the beach is not as wide, it feels a bit crowded with all the tables and umbrellas standing at the two-thirds of the beach length. The beach is also not very long. It is steep and has a strong wave. If you walk closer to the northern cliff called Punta Cometa, the waters will be calmer and you can enjoy your swim there. The ocean is clear and has a beautiful azure color. right on the beach. Nothing that draw our attention, but we were pretty hungry and decided to stop by one of them. Be prepared, service is not very fast. We wanted to have a quick snack, but ended up waiting for a long time for our order, even though it was really simple. While we were waiting, we bought a treat from the beach vendors that walk around with baskets of food. Pastry with banana. Uh -huh. Oaxaca. Mmm. It's like um, apple apple pie. Oh, so sweet. Super sweet. Yeah. Really nice. Mm. So it's a dessert. It is a dessert. So I'm gonna keep it for later. So it's not that hot. Also. Of course, it's hot. They were current around the entire day <laughs> in the basket. <laughs> it is a beautiful beach. Oaxaca. debating between going 
going to San Agustinillo or staying in Mazunte and going for a hike on Punta Cometa to see the sunset. The timing wasn't in our favor, so we couldn't do both. And we chose the beach. If you have more time, we recommend doing a hike on Punta Cometa. We heard a lot of good reviews about it and the views from the top are spectacular. As we were walking towards San Agustinillo, we saw Mexican Center for Turtles Rehabilitation. Unfortunately, it was closed at the time, but it is worth visiting as you can learn more about turtles in the area, their nesting, and the effort made for their preservation and conservation. We were talking about it in our previous videos, where we shared our story about baby turtle release experience. You can check it in the top right corner. We tried to get to San Agustinillo through the beach, but there were some cliffs and private properties along the way, so we had to walk through the town. We still managed to do a shortcut and found the hidden stairs that led us right towards Playa Bebe and Playa de los Elefantes, northern part of Playa San Agustinillo. The walk was tricky, but the view from above was rewarding. We could see the long beach and sunset light was adding to the wonderful colors of this area. tiny bays with almost no waves and with shallow waters. Good for kids to enjoy some splash. wider main part of the beach where you could catch the waves and surf. San Agustinio is great for first-time surfers. The waves are significant enough but are not as dangerous compared to Puerto Escondido or even Zipolita. There is a good and affordable surfing school right on the beach called Tropical Surf so you can take a lesson no matter what level you are. sat on the beach watching the surfers catch the waves and waiting for the sun to set. We ordered some beers from the nearby cafe and they kindly brought it right to the beach. collectiva around 7 p.m. but the two that we saw were already packed so we couldn't get in. We decided to try our luck and maybe catch another one as we started walking alongside the road towards Zipolita. This was our mistake. Don't do it. It is not safe and we simply got lucky that we didn't get into any trouble. We should have just ordered a taxi from any cafe or hotel. It would have been way safer and wouldn't break our budget. Overall the trip was worth it. Both beaches San Agustinillo and Mazunte are gorgeous, but we especially like San Agustinillo for its long shoreline, blue and green waters, and golden sand. If you have time, do visit Mazunte and hike Punta Cometa, and maybe plan a separate day for surfing lessons at San Agustinillo. Thank you for watching this video. Let us know in the comments below about your favorite surfing spot. Smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Till next time!